Hello everyone, this is Nick Perry at Schaefer's Investment Research with your chart slide show for Thursday, April 26th. Today I am back with my weekly check of the broad market indices. In last week's chart slide show, we saw that the SPX and the Dow had popped to new highs and I was basically saying that there was uh, the overall constructive pattern was still in place but I was talking about how you know the indices had gone a little far a little fast and you know maybe logically intuitively it made sense to see a bit of a pullback and on that point I was absolutely wrong uh, we did have a little bit of a chop sideways uh, that we were discussing that earlier this week you know Monday and Tuesday kind of uh, you know move sideways a little bit down not not definitely not a pullback and now we've seen the uh, you know the pop we saw yesterday so now we end up with uh, you know the Dow I'm sorry the SPX and the Dow at new highs we've got the comp breaking out and we've got the rut flirting with its recent peak uh, what you may notice is that I've added a couple of uh, support resistance lines in here basically you've got this line here which comes off this peak now that we've pushed through that here um, and we've pushed through it by a you know, significant amount. This area here is now potential support. Uh, same thing on the Dow, you've got that prior peak there, which gives us this support. Uh, the comp hasn't, it's, it's pushed above it, but not, you know, not by the same, um, you know, just looking at the chart, not by the same, doesn't have that same feel, uh, but I'd say it's close enough that you know, we'll turn to that and look at that as support. Uh, the rut is sort of flirting with that area there, you know, that pushed up into that peak, and it's just sort of been chopping around. As far as overall takeaways for this week, uh, aside from me being completely wrong about uh, expecting a pullback, um, I still think that's something to keep in mind. I mean, obviously, I was saying that it made sense to see one, so clearly I have a bias, uh, but you know, that it's it clearly didn't happen, so I'm not sure. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to just, you know, throw the blinders on and say, well, it didn't happen now, so it can't happen. Uh, at the same time, you know, you, you do run the risk of getting stuck in the mindset of saying, well, it didn't happen, but it's going to. So you you just sort of you're just stuck in that mode, and that's that's kind of a fine line to walk. And I want to kind of bring it up is, you know, it's something that that people wrestle with, and you know, I'm sure a lot of you, you know, face these types of decisions all the time where it's things don't ex play out like you expect, and then it becomes a situation of, you know, do you just reverse course or do you you know kind of stick with it uh, as far as in this situation I think the important thing to remember is the bigger picture is has been and continues to be uh, constructive chart patterns you know this we had the pullback we've now completely recouped that and then some and now we are making new highs on the SPX and the Dow uh, the comp to a lesser degree and the rut sort of flirting with that and in that scenario, that is a, you know, it's hard to argue that that's anything other than strong technical patterns. So in the coming week, I'm basically going to be watching these uh, short-term support zones that I've now mentioned that are drawn off the previous peaks. Basically, we've seen the SPX and the Dow uh, firmly push through, the comp um, trying to push through, and the rut, you know, flirting with it. But basically, on the SPX and the, the Dow, those should be... Uh, support zone. So if we do see a pullback, uh, that's what I'd be looking for: is short-term support. Uh, but obviously, the the market has some momentum behind it, so I'm not sure that uh, you know I'm going to get the pullback that I was looking for. So anyway, that's what I'll be watching. As always, uh, stay tuned to the blog for further updates.